Hey, good morning. It's Drew from Atlantis. And today I have the pleasure of working with Rob and Kevin from Tranquility Scapes and also my main man, Boley. And today and tomorrow, we're gonna to be working on transforming an existing do-it-yourself pond into our Serenity Pond, which will be a 14 by 14 pond with our 6,000 bile falls, 1,000 skimmer, and approximate depth of 30 inches. So let's transform this into this. So here we are. This is what we're going to be completely disassembling and turning into our 14 by 14 Serenity Pond. So it's actually got a pretty big footprint already, but it's elevated off the ground, cinder blocks were used, it's bare liner, and uh, several different types of filtration. There's a UV filter, a pump situated right at the bottom. So all of this is coming out this metal frame which is around it that all is going to be pulled out they've got some roses in front of it we need to pull them out because our footprint is going to come out into this space over here to give us that 14 by 14 and then we've got to have enough room in the back to put our 6,000 biofalls so that is the heart of our filtration on this pond our skimmer will be located directly across the pond to get us adequate pull and circulation. In addition, we're adding our bottom aeration with the Koi Air 1. This way it is stirring up all of the water into that column that gets pulled into the skimmer. It also doubles as your winter aeration. So, Bully, are you ready? All right. So these boys were busy at ripping the old pond apart. We've got it completely disassembled and we found buried in here, nice thick pieces of concrete, which will be easy work for this machine to just rip that out. And then this way we can kind of backfill it and then start digging out the excavation for our new 14 by 14 pond. Let's just hope that this isn't bigger than what it looks like. got the pond excavated we've got our geotextile underlayment in we've got our liner in we actually on the bottom because there was some rocky conditions in the soil we laid two layers of fabric on the bottom it's just great and also cheap insurance to make sure that these rocks that we're setting on here are not going to be causing any issues with the liner so 
on some of the bigger rocks that we've set so far, we also put another piece of liner. So it really is cheap insurance. It just gives that extra layer of protection. But on this one here, we have dramatically increased the size of this pond from what was here before. It was kind of a homeowner, kind of more of a fountain than it was a pond. So this here is what came out of the ground. You can see that there was like some tiles on the back. It really has more of a look of a fountain than a pond. But it was here when the customer and his, his parents moved here. They worked with it for a little bit, then they dug it a little bigger, dropped in a liner, added some UV lights, a skimmer, but it just, it didn't have that aesthetically pleasing look. So that's where we come in and this is what we've done. So they love their fish and they also love gardening. They've got gardens all around the yard. So we have these really, really over-exaggerated shelves for a couple of reasons. One, you can put in some marginal plants along the edges, but it also makes it super interactive for when the fish want to feed. It's not as deep as the rest of the pond. Where Bully's at, we've got over 30 inches of depth. Fish cave tucked in the corner here, and again, some over-exaggerated shelves. This is gonna allow us to be placing some of these larger boulders because they have a concern with water pooling up and running into here. They've got a very high water table, and so we need to make sure that our edge work is high enough and diverts water this way and then down around over there. So we're gonna be setting some pretty large boulders, one in the bottom, then up on the shelf, and then also to frame in our waterfall. Now this is a waterfall right at the pond's edge. We set it back about two feet, so we're gonna be able to have two drops into the pond. But so far, uh, with the digging conditions, with what we pulled out, with picking up this machine, I'm super impressed with what these guys have done. It's a beautiful day. We've got beautiful weather all week. I can't wait to see what we do tomorrow. Day two. Man, what a beautiful day we have here to finish up this 14 by 14 Serenity Pond. I'm down in the pond today. And so what we're gonna focus on first is rocking in from the bottom and coming up. So when we were digging this, we had some pretty cool creative ideas on how we can increase the interactivity of the pond with the owner and his fish. And so what we're gonna do on this far side here, we have this carved all the way down. So that's the full depth on this wall here. So we're gonna do some strategic layering of rocks. We're gonna put one way out front and then layer behind it so we can get our vertical. And then we're gonna do some stack stone in there to keep that wall nice and tight and all the way up to the surface. Once we get up above water level, we can set a couple of other rocks on top just to kind of layer off that top of the stone. All over here will get rocked in. That skimmer is gonna be completely disguised. And then our aerator. And the reason we're picking this area is because we want all of this water in this deepest spot to be kind of pushed up and drawn over and into that pump. So the aerator helps doing that. And then in the winter, it's also acting as a de-icer. So that's it. That's it. What about you? That's a wrap. Let's get it done. It's not a wrap. It's not a wrap. Let's get to that point. I, I want to wrap it up. Wicker, wicker, wicker. waited all winter long for a day just like today. It is by definition picture perfect and an amazing day for building this pond. So let me show you what we got, man. We made a lot of progress so far. We've got a ton, literally tons of boulders set so far into this. We still have a lot more to rock in, but these boys have been slinging away, setting these things. Bully's doing his magic up towards that waterfall. 
Me and Rob been working on the side edge over here by the skimmer. Kevin's been in the machine slinging rocks to all of us as we need them. So we are making awesome progress here. So we have got the entire bottom of our pond rocked in. Just need to adjust our cover stone over that cave, bury it with some gravel just to fill it up and make it level. And then we can set our remaining stones along that back edge. We got this cool stacked wall in the middle here between our two frame rocks. Still have to finalize setting those on top, but that's gonna be a nice clean finished edge. And it's gonna give us a little bit more elevation because the back yard there is a lower spot. They got water running from the neighbors. So we wanna make sure that back edge is nice and high and pushing water around and away from the pond. So over here, we just have to do the same. And we're actually gonna make several little plant pockets, almost like a little bog area in this section here. And that's gonna be a great spot to be putting our plants nestled in some gravel and it's gonna allow us to give us that added elevation. Then over here, we're waiting just because the machine needs to come in as far as it is, just so we could reach over to that far side. So this will be the last area that we work on with our stonework, but everything else is finished. We've got our chase line for the aerator. We put that in there this way, if the line ever fails and has to be pulled out or a new one chased through it, it is just kind of snaked up through the side. So none of the rock work has to move. It makes it super easy and super clean to service it later. And plus it protects that airline from any shifting or anything that may occur. This waterfall is just going to have a very simple one fall out of there, a nice big drop onto this, and then just hitting this lower rock here and skimming that water and pushing it away from the biofalls and towards the skimmer. So that is gonna have a nice effect. It's just above water level, so we're gonna have a couple of inches of that rock sticking out of the water, and then the rest of it is just gonna be pushing all of that water towards the skimmer. I can't be happier to be out here working with these guys, especially my man Bowley, back in the distance. So hang on tight guys, this one will be wrapped up before you know it. All right, the moment is here. It is about to plug this in and reveal it to the customer. Let's see what they think. You guys want to see your new waterfall? What a fun project this was for a well-deserving family. They were so appreciative of what we were able to do, transforming their old pond into what we have behind us now. So let us know what you guys think in those comments below. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. We are posting videos all week long of similar projects and how-to videos. So we'll see you on the next one.